Good morning, Sagittarius. Thank you for pressing play. My name is Rosa and I'm here to bring you another general read. We're going to dive into the month of March 2021. And for this reading today, we're going to use a couple of different decks. We're going to be using my Twin Flames Oracle deck that I've personally created here today. And we're going to be diving in for extra messages using the Wild Unknown Tarot cards. Um, and as I begin to shuffle the Oracle deck, guys, um, I just want to make mention that if you enjoy this reading, if on some level it speaks to you or resonates, let me know by hitting the like, share or subscribe button. If you would like to work with me, Sagittarius, all the details will be in the show more section below. And also too, guys, don't forget I'm over on other platforms. So if you enjoy my work here today and you want to see more of what I do, I do offer general readings over on my IGTV channel, which is on Instagram. Uh, if that's something that should interest you, uh, feel free to head over there and check out those messages because, hey, there might be something over there waiting for you, right? For others of you that would like to get to know me, again, all of my socials are in the show more section below. Okay, so to kick off your reading, Sagi, you've got the judgment card coming through here. So the month of March could have you perhaps maybe dealing strongly with someone who's got blue eyes. Okay, if you're the person with the blue eyes, okay, this would be speaking to you. Uh, they, I mean, it could be that you are very much in this critical energy. Okay, you're, you're very much in this critical thinking mindset, um, Sagittarius. So, I mean, this could be self-inflicted. I mean, if you've got the blue eyes, if I'm speaking to a Saggy out there that's got blue eyes, I feel like you're being self-critical. I feel like you're being hard on yourself. I feel like you're, you're picking yourself apart. You're nitpicking. Um, and I don't know if this is necessarily helping you or empowering you in any way okay i mean you may be judging others around you um, you like i said this is the judgment card so it could have you heavily judging other people around you but let me remind you if you're if that's speaking to you it would be an indication that you're again it comes back to pointing the finger at ourselves right is because we're judging truly we're judging ourselves Okay, because other people are reflecting back to us something about ourselves. Okay, they're teaching us something about ourselves. So, um, look, you may even be dealing with people in your environment that are heavily judgmental right now. Maybe you're going through some law uh, suit. Maybe, you know, with the judgment card, this is pertaining to legalities. Um, signing legal documents, something of this nature. If you're dealing with someone else who has blue eyes, it could be that this person is very uh, discriminating um, and you're being like ostracized or criticized by this person. Okay, so let's see what the tarot cards have to say in regards to this. Okay, two cards popped out. Okay, you've got the three of pentacles here. This could be a work situation, okay? Pentacles does speak to the material world, as I say, uh, which is work, career. Uh, maybe this has got to do with your finances. Maybe there's someone around you that's telling you how you should be spending your money, right? How you should be saving. Oh, isn't that funny? Isn't that funny how other people know what's best for you? <laughs> I just find that really, really funny. How other people best know how to spend your money. How other people best know what to do with your money, right? <laughs> I just, it's absurd, but this is what people do. And you may be experiencing this right now. However, the Three of Pentacles does speak to collaboration. So I feel like this is a team environment. So I feel like you're a part of some kind of a team or a tribe, or a group of people, and I feel like maybe there's a bit of gossiping going on, there's a bit of, you know, let me put my two cents worth in, but it's too, I don't know if it's improving or hindering you, okay, I'm not sure. We've got the Empress card here, 
Okay, the Empress, you could be dealing with a Libran here or a, a Taurian, okay, Libra or Taurus energy coming through here. But the Empress is very uh, empowered, okay, she's very loving, she's very self loving. Um, so I feel if you're judging yourself when it comes to your work performance, for example, it's, it's telling you, Saji, just to stop that. There's no need to do that. The Empress doesn't need to do that. She knows her value. She knows her worth. Um, she knows that everything happens in the right time. There's no forcing coming through with the Empress, okay? She's a very feminine energy. She's all about receiving. Maybe there's some people in your environment, Sagittarius, that are... Um, offering constructive criticism okay maybe maybe this is about constructive criticism and yes yeah, okay it's possible i see that now because the three of pentacles that's constructive criticism right it's to improve it's to elevate it's to help inject growth And maybe there is a bit of um, constructive criticism going on here and it would all be to help elevate you, okay? Because we see with this Empress card, look at this beautiful tree, you know, she's flourishing, she's blossoming, she's blooming. So it's to help, it's to help you elevate, it's to help you grow, it's to help you flourish, Okay, what other messages are coming through here? I mean, the Empress can speak to mothering energy too. Uh, maybe if you're a mother, Sagittarius, maybe you're judging yourself harshly. Maybe you're putting pressure on yourself that you're not being a good mother or a role model or a good figure for your children or the people around you, okay? Um, look, this judgment could be coming from your own mother, um, but I feel like it's coming from a good place. Okay, so we've got the Six of Swords here. It feels challenging right now. Okay, in the moment, in this moment, it feels uh, challenging. Um, there may be a little bit of fear coming up and in around this. Maybe it's fear that's creating the judgment in the first place. Um, but the good news is with the Six of Swords is that you will overcome this, okay? It will calm down. Whatever's challenging, whatever's disrupting you right now, it will calm down. You will move into a space of clarity and that's what that rainbow in this card is signifying to me that this is a space of clarity that you will move into it's not going to last forever it could literally just be your own mindset right now again beautiful energy you've got the chariot here this is the willpower to overcome these fears and these mindset blocks and challenges, okay? You will overcome whatever this is, okay? And the chariot is just asking you to ride it out. Ride it out. And, you know, I, you're, Saji, you're the horse. You're the centaur, right? So, yeah, you will ride this out. Um... I am getting the sense with the chariot that there may be a little bit of rebellious energy coming through from you as well. Uh, maybe like this energy of... If this judgment is coming from others, you might... You, you might not accept it as constructive criticism, all right? You might just rebel. That's how. That's the best way I can explain it. You might rebel against what is being 
said here. Okay, but the chariot is the willpower to overcome. Now you've got the full card here. Oh, I did forget to mention with the chariot here, you may be dealing with the Cancerian. And with the full, it may be an Aries energy here. But the Aries is, is it's about the first house. It's about the self, okay? And with this full here, you're being asked to take a chance, take a risk, take some kind of a leap of faith. Yeah, there may even be someone coming in out of the blue, charging in towards you. This could be a brand new person. Um, there may you you may even be seeking adventure. You may be even seeking a getaway right now, Saji. Okay, you may just need to get away from it all, um, and this would be a very loving thing to do right now because the emperor the empress calls for nature. Um, and sometimes when we immerse ourselves in nature, it can be very soothing and, you know, nature gives us medicine, okay? And you might need the medicine of nature right now. You may need the medicine of adventure, of new beginnings, okay? You may be even calling in new be beginnings here, You may be even grabbing an opportunity by the hands, okay? This is catch it while you can, Saji. And I feel like whatever this is, it's positive because I'm looking at all the yellow and orange here and I see that as positive. It's a positive energy. It reminds me of the sun and the sun is very expansive, okay? Um... It feels, it feels expansive. Yeah, expanded, expansive. So there we have it, Saji. I do hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, and until next time, take care, my loves, and I'll speak to you soon.